Ismailism is a religious minority which counts about 15 million followers around the world. Not much is known about them, and they left but a few written traces in history. But they enjoyed a brief period of great power in Islamic history. To understand the Ismailis, we have to go back to the time of the early Shia community. For the Shiites, Imams are the authentic political and spiritual leaders of the Muslim community. But in 765, with the death of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, the Shia community split. One branch recognized as the next Imam one of the sons of Imam al-Sadiq called Musa al-Kadim. The other believed that the true Imam was Jafar al-Sadiq's other son, Ismail, who actually disappeared in 760, five years before his father's death. According to the Ismailis, either Ismail went into hiding or his divine spirit continued in his descendants. The Ismaili doctrine revolves around the figure of the Imam, who is believed to be divinely inspired, being a direct descendant of the Prophet. He is the only interpreter of Islamic law, and therefore he is the only one who has access to the divine truth. The Ismaili message, which promised redemption in the afterlife, was appealing to those who felt oppressed by the ruling Abbasid Caliphate, and in the 10th century, it spread quickly throughout the Arab Empire. Until, in 909, Ubaidallah proclaimed himself descendant of Ismail and succeeded to establish the Fatimid Caliphate, which lasted two centuries. It was the first Shiite empire in the history of the Muslim world, which, at its height, controlled the whole North Africa, part of Hijaz, and Palestine in addition to Sicily. The end of the Fatimid Caliphate is also the end of the Ismailis' power in the Muslim world. But the Ismaili community did not disappear, but resisted as a minority until today. Nowadays, Ismailis follow Imam Aga Khan IV. A billionaire born in Switzerland, he has relations with the English nobility. On the one hand, he is a wealthy businessman with an estimated net worth of $3 billion, mostly coming from a successful horse racing business. On the other hand, Imam Aga Khan is the leader of the Ismaili community. As such, he has promoted numerous initiatives to support Ismailism around the world. For instance, he founded the Institute of Ismaili Studies in London and is chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, which promotes the development of civil society through a series of non-profit and for-profit institutions in different countries. As a representative of the Ismailis, he promotes their stance internationally. For example, he established the seat of the Ismaili Imamate in Portugal, thanks to an agreement with the Portuguese government. He has also made an accord with the Canadian Prime Minister to open an Ismaili centre in Toronto. In this way, the Ismaili community maintains its millennial religious and cultural identity until today.